Well, I think science centres play a very important role in developing uh, a, a mindset and attitude uh, that is directed toward uh, uh, learning uh, science. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, you know, children uh, learn through feel, through touching, and we're teaching them investigative ability. We're teaching them to question, to reach conclusions. So very important skills are transmitted to young people through science centers. But the value really is the introduction to science. You know, the excitement, the color, the practice, uh, all of this I think uh, is very, very important in introducing young people at a very early stage uh, to science and then encouraging them to explore further, which is what science is all about really. And you, we talk about children, but do you think it's, it's actually open to the general population as well? It's just as important for Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, I constantly talk to parents because you must reach the adults if you're to reach the young people. And they are the ones who I think uh, will say to young people, you really should do that. You should look at it more closely. So the entire community should have access to the Science Centre, and we need to ensure um, that they're of a, a level um, of excitement and complexity that will keep adults as interested as children. Well, well, apart from money, what would you say are some of the biggest or the, the biggest obstacle to achieving this? I think uh, maybe part of it is really lack of appreciation of the value. You know, if you um, haven't got a particular institution, you won't have a sense of what it might offer uh, your society. All of us on the continent are endeavouring to build our science capabilities. But because we don't have science centres in some countries, we might not appreciate that they actually can help. And this is why I believe, uh, along with colleague ministers, as well as the African Union, uh, a commission dedicated to science development, we certainly at South Africa will raise this matter and look at how we can develop a, a, a joint program uh, which we will lend some support to in order to see more science centers on the African continent. Okay. And again, because this is for an international audience, uh, could you just mention again the, the value of indigenous knowledge and converging that with uh, current science? Well, you know, uh, many uh, people tend not to have an appreciation of traditional practices and it's been intriguing for us to see how we can exploit uh, indigenous knowledge for the development of our biotechnology sector as well as for uh, developing remedies uh, that respond to modern problems. You know, we speak of uh, the burden of non-communicable diseases which is increasing uh, globally, diabetes, obesity and so on. And here we are in South Africa looking at the hudia. A plant that is used by the sand community, no one would have thought that perhaps there's an appetite suppressant somewhere toward the desert in a very traditional and old community in southern Africa. And today we're at clinical trial uh, uh, phase with the hudia plant. So I think having an appreciation of indigenous practices and the potential they hold for modern uh, science practice is a very, very important lesson for many of us.